Are you brand new to golf and you have so many things in your head and you're panicking and you don't know where to start or what to pay attention to? I'm your girl. I have three very, very simple, easy tips for you just to get started on how to actually play golf and what you need to know. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome. I am your girl for the tips and tricks and I'm always in the comments helping you out if you have any questions. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you. And if you haven't, just go ahead and click right there and let's get started on your three very simple tips as a beginner golfer, what you're doing before you are on top of the golf ball. It's very, very fast. Everybody will understand it. If not, in the comments, ask me all your questions. All right, so I'm here, indoor simulator. If you're out of the driving range, you can also practice. You have to make sure you practice this before you go to the golf course so you feel the confidence when you are actually out there. All right, so what we have over here is golf ball that I'll be hitting. Just to show you visually, I have another ball over here. Step number one is you always want to come to the golf ball with your feet closed right in front of the ball. If I was aiming that way, okay? What a lot of you do is you grab your golf club, you have your grip. By the way, if you haven't seen my video on gaps, grip, aim, posture, and stance, in the description below, there is a free guide for you. Print it out, put it in your golf bag, and you always have that as reference. That shows you exactly how to hold the club, how far or close to stand. But for today, a lot of you are coming to, on top of the golf ball like this with already your feet predetermined. So right now, if I put my golf club down, I am aiming left with my feet. You can have the best golf swing. You can have Tiger Woods golf swing, but if you're aiming left, you're going to go left. So what you need to do is before you come to the golf ball, always come with your feet closed right in front of the ball. You have your grip, you have your club, and depending on what shot you're hitting, you're new. So you're just gonna have your feet shoulder width apart with the ball kind of right in the middle of your stance for a nice and easy swing for the pitching wedge. So this is how I would do it. All right, so I'm up here, I have my grip, I've come to the golf ball, my feet are closed. Now, depending on my golf shot, even on both sides, nice and relaxed. And I've hit it. Very simple, I know where I'm going, my feet are straight. So that's tip number one. Tip number two for you is, what are you doing with your hands? Okay, so you have your grip. Am I going out there? Am I going over here? What happens to my hands. You have to pretend like there is an imaginary line that goes right behind your golf ball and that is the line that you're trying to follow in your first movement in your backswing. So tip number two is all of you out there imagine there's an imaginary line behind your golf ball. A really 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 great drill when you're out um, practicing is put a second golf ball behind, close your feet, open your feet, and you're gonna just try and push that golf ball into a straight line behind you. So watch that again. I've put the golf ball, let's say, one club head behind. Okay, I've closed my feet, I've opened my feet, I'm nice and relaxed, and I'm gonna push the golf ball into a straight line. What we don't want to see, which I would say 90% of you are probably going to do, is you're going to come and swing this way, which is what happens to beginner golfers. So in your head, if that visual didn't help you, you can always grab an alignment stick or another golf um, club, place it behind your ball, and maybe you do like five of these. Okay, so you're here, you've closed your feet, you've done tip number one, Tip number two, okay, straight back, straight back, straight back. Okay, that just kind of helps guide you as to where you need to go. Eventually, you can also leave it back here. So let me do tips one and two together. So I have my feet, I have, I'm shoulder width apart and I'm gonna come back straight. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you one that's not going back straight just so you see the difference. I'm gonna come more this way in my backswing where this golf ball is. Okay, so a lot of you will come like this. And most times your ball will go way to the right. So that's tip number two. Tip number three. What are we doing with our weight? We're strong, we're athletic, we want power, we want the ball to go far, everybody wants the ball to go so far, but what are we doing with our body weight? What I see is a lot of you hang back like this. So if I was to show you over here, like this, you're, you look great, you do a great takeaway, and then you decide you're gonna put all of your body weight on your backside and try and use your hands and do this like very awkward movement so you have no power. You've used all hands and you've kind of gotten stuck on your back leg and now you're trying to rotate because your golf coach told you you have to rotate. So the last and final tip for all of you beginners out there, actually all golfers out there, you have to, have to, have to try your very best to try and get your body weight to your forward foot, to your lead foot. I wanna try and get my body weight essentially towards the hole and towards the golf course and where I'm trying to go. One of my really good, good friends told me, tell them your belly button has to face the target. That's where you want to finish. So you're not stuck back here like this. So what does that look like? Tip number three for you is, I want to see after every shot you hit, I want to see the back of your shoe, your right shoe, the sole, I want to see it. That's how I know you have put your body weight going forward. So let's do all three tips together. I have my grip. I've come up with my feet closed. I have my feet open, nice and relaxed. Tip two is I'm gonna go back straight and then tip three is I'm gonna follow through with my toe up. So nice and relaxed. All three tips done. Closed and open. I have gone back straight and I have made sure that my body weight is on the forward foot and I didn't come out of it. I didn't swing and hit and then fall over. I, sw I swung and I held my finish. I was stable, I was strong. So those are your three tips. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the like button if this video really, really helped you. And if you have any questions, I'm always there in the comments answering your questions. If you would like more tips like this, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well and I have a brand new program called Fun and Fundamentals, which you will want to be a part of. DM me and I'll tell you all about it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.